the work go to work Flip work till it hurt It get worse, get a nurse Couple bins when they serve it's Latoya Montana and I'm back with another video <laughs> okay so today I did a little mini haul at Walmart and I'm saying it's a mini haul because it's just me so it might be a lot of food for just me because I really went there I didn't have no direction I didn't know what I was going there to get and I was seeing other stuff that really really made me excited like really got me excited like it's one thing in particular that literally made my soul smile when I seen it Hey guys, so we're gonna start over here. Okay, so I bought me these little orange juices or whatever. This is a six pack. I bought me this. Listen, I love spicy food and I love making jerk chicken. So that's what I bought that for because I like to keep like two or three of those um, in my pantry. But this was the last one, so I'm so glad I seen that. Chicken broth, you just always need it. Then I seen these, never had them, but they looked so good. And I was like, but why not though? <laughs> okay, so I bought me some peanut butter. Got the head of creamy Jeff. And I bought me some Welch's grape jelly. My son told me that I posted by jam because jelly don't spread. And I don't know if that's true or not because I swear I only buy jelly. So who is buying home jam? Like... But anyway, I like to have fresh peanut butter and jelly because that's just what it is. Like, nothing like fresh peanut butter and jelly. You know, because them kids be sticking them spoons in there and they had like the breadcrumbs and stuff out there. It's just too much. I bought this. I absolutely love this. Like, you should try it if you never had, but I love it. I bought this. Always need the vinegar. Sometimes I take a little teaspoon of this a day. I bought these burgers. I love these burgers. Love to put them on the grill. They be so good and so juicy. These paper towels, which I had already opened because I really needed them. I bought those from Family Dollar. This right here, I never had this Tennessee honey pulled pork. But guess what? I want to try it because it looked like it's good. So, because I bought that pulled pork, you know I had to get me some coleslaw because you can eat pulled pork without coleslaw like what it goes together it's like two pieces together then i bought me some of this dip creamy ranch dip i really like when they had the spinach and artichoke dip mixed together but i have not seen that in so long like nowhere and the um chips that i usually buy with that i could not find them i couldn't find them in the store at all but i had a lot of chips here at the house so i'm sure i had some I bought me these hash browns because I absolutely love breakfast food. Even though I usually eat my breakfast food more so uh, in the evening or at night because that's just what it is. Oh, let me go ahead and do this. I can put this back on. Let me tell y'all something. If you never had caramel cone by Hagen Dazs, you need to get it because this is the best ice cream ever. And they only had one, so this was the last one. So, really, my heart smiled when I seen this too because I really love it. Okay. Now, when I was in there, I was putting, like, meals together in my head, right? That's how I put that pulled pork and that coleslaw together, right? Put that together. These tenderloins. So, I bought these because let me show y'all what I seen that made my heart smile. Like, I'm excited even thinking about it. Like, I'm really excited. But when did they come out with this? Tell me when they came out and put this Polynesian Chick-fil-A sauce in Walmart. I seen this today. Listen, I'm so excited because I absolutely love Polynesian sauce. So I said, oh, let me get these, fry them up, and dip it in this Polynesian sauce. Like, I can't wait. I'm so excited about the whole situation. Like, do anybody else get that excited about food? Just me. Okay. Then I bought this. I don't know why I bought this. Like, I don't... Greek strawberry. I don't know. I don't think I've never had this. I just... Eat regular yogurt. I'm telling y'all, I was in there with no direction. I didn't know what to do. I bought these Italian sausages, hot Italian sausages. Y'all know I love, love, love hot food, spicy foods, and I love those. I bought these pig feet. Yes, I eat pig feet. It's okay. You don't got to eat it, but I eat it, right? Absolutely love pig feet. So let me tell y'all the meal I put together with these pig feet, right? The pig feet and this Amish potato salad. Listen. I was excited when I seen the little one because I was about to get the real big one, okay? 
But this right here, this Amish potato salad is the best potato salad I ever had in my whole entire life. I promise. Matter of fact, let me tell y'all something. I just started eating potato salad maybe about four or five years ago. It was something about the thought of cold potatoes. It didn't sit right in my spirit. And then one day, like years, years ago, I had a friend. She was way older than me. And, you know, she was um she would make a potato salad one day. So my friend was making potato salad one day. Like she was having a party or something. Let me tell y'all something. She had these potatoes and she took her fingers. Now she was she was having a party. So the party was for like not just her family, but people. She took her fingers and were mushing the potatoes. Like mushing the potatoes up. I said something not right about that. Like that's nasty. You don't have no gloves on. And like you making that for everybody. She's talking about shh, don't tell about it. Well, just know I didn't even eat potato salad back then because, like I said, something about the cold potatoes, whatever, whatever. Just didn't sit right in my spirit. But when I seen her make that, I just never ate potato salad from nobody's house. I always get this Amish potato salad. Listen, try it. It's the best. Only thing you got to do is add some eggs to it, and that's if you want to do that. But it's sweet enough. It's good enough. It's just the bomb. Okay, we back. And guess I only bought one pack of pig feet with only four in it, and they split. I did get another pack, but it was all, it was cut open or something like that. So I was just like, whatever. That might be a sign. I don't need all that. So I bought these pork chops. Let me tell you something. I love pork chops. And I absolutely love thick pork chops. These are not that thick, but they're not the thin ones either. So I'm going to like bag those individually though. Okay. This right here. This sweet heat mango peach salsa. Let me tell y'all something. So the last time I made nachos, I bought this because I seen it. I put this up there. This took those nachos to a whole new level. And then I was eating these by this, be eating this by itself with some chips. Oh my gosh, this is so good right here. If you go to Walmart, you definitely need to buy this. It's so good and it got just enough spice in it. Heinz 57, I love that sauce. Y'all know I love steak. I bought this, I was supposed to be drinking that at the, um, at the register, but I didn't because the lights went off while I was in there. Why, I don't know. So I bought these little ginger ales. Now I bought these because I plan on buying me a bar and I want to put the little ones on my bar set. Now I don't know when I'm gonna buy, but I'm gonna buy. Oh, and I always just had ginger ale. Okay, so I bought these stromboli and I don't know how they taste, but they look good. So I wanted to try it and it's four of them. So I'm excited. <laughs> So these breakfast bowls, I absolutely love the sausage breakfast bowls. I bought two of those. Then I seen this, my first time I ever seeing the steak one. And I said, oh, I gotta get that because I'm gonna try that out. Then I bought these sausage egg and cheese croissants. I did have the um name brand ones, but I really don't care if it's name brand or the great value ones. Like that's still good to me. What else I get? I got these wings, because y'all know I said I'm gonna make me some jerk. Y'all look at my cord. That's ridiculous on that flow like that. But anyway, I bought these wings because I'm going to make me some um, jerk wings. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to, these are whole wings and I'm going to cut them in half. And then I'm going to put half of them up in the freezer. And the other half, I'm going to uh, let them marinate for like a day or two with that jerk seasoning on whenever I'm ready for it. Now, I bought this cabbage and these carrot matchsticks or whatever. Now, I bought this because I supposed to be doing a cabbage diet or whatever. So, we'll get around to that. But I ain't in no rush for that right now. Because, like, whatever. So, I bought this hot wing buffalo sauce. Make me some hot wings whenever. I bought me these big bag of onions. As you can see, I've already been eating them. And that's just that. I bought these. For my barbecue sandwich. So I told y'all I was putting stuff together in my head. Like what I can eat together. So I bought this. Then I bought me some regular bread. You know what I'm saying? For my peanut butter and jelly. Then I bought these Gatorades. And I absolutely love the frost or the clear Gatorades. Like I like them when they really, 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 really cold. Like I love my food when it's really, really, really cold. So all of this is just for me. Me, myself, and I, like, I don't know if this is considered a lot, but it's not like I'm going to eat it all at once or something like that. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
But I'm excited. Oh, and then I also meant to tell y'all with these pig feet and this. So basically, I think last week I had bought a, a bag of collard greens, and I'm gonna cook the whole bag. Yes, I am gonna cook the whole bag. Can't cook half of them. I'm gonna cook the whole bag. I'm gonna take out what I'm eating. I'm gonna freeze the rest of them. The best meal in the world: pork, pig feet, potato salad, and fresh collard greens. Like I will not eat. I will not eat potato salad with anything else. I will not eat pig feet with anything else if I don't have all three of those things. And that's just is what it is. Like, I really, really love it. So, y'all let me know. How do y'all grocery shop when it's just for y'all? Or is it ever just y'all? Or, I know it can't just be me who be kid free for the summer. Because, like, because I'm used to being kid free for, like, the summer, the weekends and stuff. But I've never been kid free where I'm kid free and I'm five hours away. And my kids can't come to me. They can't come home. Because, like, any other time, like, during the summer stuff, they'll come home whenever I come home, the kids home, or whatever. They just back and forth. But I'm really excited. Like, I'm, like, really, like, my soul is smiling. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I'm really excited to be home by myself. Now, I know I'm going to miss them and all that uh, extra stuff. But right now, it's just starting. And it's okay because I talk to them every day. And I am... Um, absolutely positively sure that they are okay where they at so that's no worries about that so thanks y'all for watching peace